This best ball draft 4.0 and NFL futures edition of the Sports Gamma Podcast brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform that's US based and available in 40 states. Head to cut.com, that's K U T T.com, and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy pick them for a chance to win 100x in NBA, NHL, college basketball, and more. Sign today using promo code SGPN to get a 100% deposit match. We're also ready by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, folks, this is Bud Foster. You're listening to SGPN. Let's let it ride. Go, Hokies, man. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Hello, Sean. What's happening? Uh, feeling a little bit like I'm still recovering. You still got that uh, Vegas sorting through that, Ryan? Oh uh, no, the dick punch I suffered last night. We measured it live on Vs, <laughs> and it was six inches and five eighths, according to CJ. He was holding. Uh, my six and five eighths inches at the time, and Oregon plus five and a half oh. ends up being no good. Ends up being no good, Sean. Yeah, super. Uh, I mean, just eating the chalk left and right in this uh, round of thirty-two. Very few favorites uh, cash. Very few favorites moved on. I had the Buffs uh, uh, that ended up being a push. I thought Michigan mm. State might have a chance. They they were hanging around early. I mean, really, what was it, Clemson? Uh, I caught one of the, I one of the few that. one of the few favorites I was on nailed as that. I locked Baylor, but uh, San Diego State looks like they're gonna cruise. The Yaleys uh, had no shot there. Shout out to well, that guy rocking the Yale uh, sweatshirt, uh, man, <laughs> or Sean. not even a sweatshirt, hood, uh, knit uh, sweater. Yeah, it lo- looks like it was knit in the like 16th century. I have a uh, sweater from Ireland uh, that was like an authentic hand knit sweater that was like from. Some Irish sheep, and it looks exactly like that. Without, yeah, without the wool. giant Y. Actual wool. Yeah, actual I gotta be wool. honest, Johnny. You didn't sound that sad for my ridiculous bad beat double overtime dick. Sorry, punch. Ryan. You didn't. It didn't seem like it affected you at all. <laughs> Five grand down well, the drain. Well, much I, like much like other people's first half unders, I care more about my first half unders that I, didn't hit. And shout out to all the people who threatened not to do it next year. Don't. Don't bet the over so we can get better numbers on the first half unders. We got three buzzer beaters going against us. You fucking jabrones act like you never gambled before. I, we gave you a gambling system. It's historic. It's a decade don't, strong. Don't, don't explain variance. I know. Don't, we don't need to explain variance. If you want to jump off, jump off. Please jump off. There were too many. <laughs> the fuck out. These, uh, you know, book it with Trent uh, jabroni. Uh, was all over the first half unders. I saw was, BR <laughs> betting. That might have been a problem. Uh, and and now it's gonna people are gonna reverse it, and then we're gonna be value hawks coming back in, scooping up some value, Ryan. Uh, uh, we will we'll we'll do a full recap because we have oh. two uh, Sweet Sixteen episodes. We're gonna do one for the Thursday games, one for the Friday night games. Yeah, I mean, a loaded week actually. We're gonna talk about the uh, the filthy sport of baseball with uh, Moon off and Malcolm. Our MLB uh, season preview. <laughs> we'll be see how uh, how hilariously short it will be. I will probably run back my uh, Cubs Phillies <laughs> World Series prediction. Uh, also, a reminder: shout out uh, DGen University, DGen University application still open. If you want to get DGen University hat, use that promo code Madness fifteen percent off everything. In the merch store, and of course, sign up over at cut.com, Ryan, K U T T.com, promo code SGPN. So nice getting down on all these March Madness bets without laying a ton of juice, going head to head. Uh, shout out to the user who took my money uh, on Clemson. He had a nice big bet over on cut. Hats off to you. At least, at least if I'm going to lose, the listeners are going to win. And uh, so fun. You can do custom bets. 
Uh, Ryan, UFL kicks off this season. I'm sure uh, we can get a bunch of bets uh, listed over on cut.com. You can get some UFL player props, which I'm sure no one else is going to bother uh, listing. We will get those up and get J Mark on that. Play, yes. uh, this props. is a perfect, perfect uh, activity for the great J Mark. Check out the UFL gambling podcast, but of course, sign up over on cut.com. Uh, I'm looking to uh, someone is about to get cut after I cash this San Diego uh, state Aztecs minus five and a half, Which, but use that promo code uh, SGPN and get 10% deposit bonus. K U T T dot com. Which by the way, that will keep us alive in the last man standing contest. Yes. we have five entries. Four got destroyed. I think the first day, which was almost impressive. And then also uh, I was in a survivor contest and in the Vegas haze, I forgot to uh, click save on the entry. That's why I don't sign up for all these fucking things because I inevitably I get overwhelmed. There is so much my my high my uh, pleasure centers get hijacked, get. like Doctor Phil said. The, the and we're trying to run, you know, the podcast, the Veasan show. You, inevitably, some of this shit falls through the cracks. new rule, Sean. I think we have to make a new rule. Yes, next year. We travel to Vegas. We we do our shows from LA. We travel to Vegas on Wednesday, and we commit to no work activities. Yeah, to Thursday and Friday. I like that because uh, it's just too much. I, I think anything where you got to follow through on those two days, too I much stimulus. I was thinking about it. Right, we got to hang out. We hang out with a, a number of listeners. Yeah, shout out to all the listeners that uh, but, but hung I, out. It was a lot of fun. Hooked some us up of them, a bunch of booze. It felt like the ones that we hung out with before the tourney. Yeah. It feels like that was a previous trip. <laughs> I know it's some, it's an amazing <laughs> phenomenon. I did see there were a couple of people who it did slide into the podcast review uh, mailbox to tell us how much they hated the first half unders. I thought we would quickly run through these because uh, it made both made me laugh. One, this was a couple of days back, but the college basketball experience. I don't know if you saw it, Sean. One star review, garbage. <laughs> the fact that these guys apparently <laughs> have a decent following, which by the way. Um, yeah, they, they have a decent following. I, I will say when you're sitting in a restaurant and you see, and you see a group of grown ass men scream, that's, that's not, not a, a pick. pick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, Colby, definitely the bell of the ball. A lot of people wanting to find fucking Noah. You could see, you could see there's <laughs> definitely a bit of a cult activity going on there. Uh, but the fact these guys apparently have a decent following is so disappointing. When the first show I listened to is one of the hosts. Has one of the hosts saying something is retarded? I'm not really sure what he's trying R to word, spell right. there. R oh, word. the R word is R word. Oh, that's not a that's not an asterisk. I'm not supposed to say asterisk. Got it. In the first 15 minutes, it's 2024, guys. That's messed up and points directly to a lack of intelligence. It, it's weird because in in a way, uh, th there is a lack of intelligence. You're kind. You th this person gets the show. They are not intelligent. That's the point. <laughs> That's it. that's it's not. I mean, it's it, you're They're not. They're Gen University <laughs> graduates. I mean, it, it would blow your mind, but Patty C can operate a spreadsheet, but that's not what you're there for. I, I also the sports gambling podcast got a new review, Sean. Wow, one star. Subject: Nah, ya nah by Lynn Donk. I'm gonna say. Do you think this uh, is about first half honors? Dong. I'm gonna say not gonna be winning a uh, SGPN <laughs> gift card to the merch store. Well, maybe not we win them over. <laughs> maybe you can win them over. If you left this review, reach out. We'll see how dumb this. Yeah, person so I is. can tell you to fuck off in person. <laughs> uh, and uh, shout out to. We'll do a full update because there uh, the San Diego State game is going on on uh. the. Um, March Madness uh, betting pool contest, uh, the uh, bankroll challenge. And if you did not get your bonus credits yet, I think we got most people sorted. Uh, hit me up in uh, Discord over there or email podcast at sportsgivenpodcast.com to get your credits, uh, your yeah. bonus credits. Again, you got bonus credits. The bigger, the more you, uh, the bigger fans got have the advantage, which I appreciate. It in this type of contest. Which you, and by the way, if you didn't get your bonus credits, you've been now put on a list by me. People that like to use multiple identities. Oh, look out! Uh, hey, <laughs> we're gonna do a uh, best ball underdog draft, but before we get to that, uh, we got our best bets. And before we get to that, shout out to Game Time. Oh man, MLB right around the corner. And uh, if you've ever tried to get MLB tickets day of at the ballpark, if you think in 2024 guys still aren't ripping you off there with uh, some fake tickets, you gotta be careful. That really. 
is uh is the worst. If you're just walking around Dodger Stadium, guys selling tickets, you're not gonna be able to authenticate the tickets there. Do yourself a favor, save the time, save the hassle, get tickets delivered right to your mobile phone. Dodger Stadium, great uh place to go see some games. A uh, great place to go watch some action in person, as Shohei Otani uh, knows firsthand. Uh, again, love game time. I love seeing where my seat is. Uh, they have that feature, which uh, really appreciate uh, that. And you, the honestly, the the coolest thing is the uh, last minute deals. You can save up to sixty percent off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. I'm going to be going to uh, see the Grateful Dead. At the Sphere in Las Vegas, at some point, I don't know. You know, my Vegas schedule. There, we're there some weeks. We're not. It's gonna be a last minute thing, and I know I'm gonna be using Game Time. So go to GameTime.co or download the Game Time app. Use the promo code SGPN for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Kramer, what are your best bets for Monday, March twenty fifth? Oh, well, there's there's not a lot going on. Not a lot going on on Monday, March 25th. Uh, a little bit of a, a lull in the old uh, men's college basketball, Sean. Okay. So decided to hop over to women's college basketball, which, by the way, shout out to producer Josh slides into my DMs. Hey, man, if you can find a hundred to one or better, it's a great price for Virginia Tech. Well, what do I do? I scoop up five hundred to one because I'm the fucking CLB god. I'm I'm at the circa. I see it's only seventy five to one there. I'm basically counting my winnings. Like, wow, what a great bet! Best players out with a torn ACL. So bet bet was dead before it started. Anyway, I, have you been keeping up with the tourney? Oh, uh, riveted. Yes, yeah. I, I, well, I I know you're big. You uh, you not only don't see color, but you don't see gender in twenty twenty four. So you've been s- scooping up all the women's basketball. Best bets for the for the Monday slate. We're in the second round. They stagger their uh, tourney by it seems like at least a day. You are at least up to speed with the LSU head coach trying to get ahead of the uh, horrible news story that's about to come out about her. Oh, oh I I, I didn't I didn't click in. I saw okay. the headline. Oh, <laughs> I mean the way she's talking. So basically, there's a hit piece coming out, and oh. she's trying to get ahead of it. She basically said that the post has been reaching out only to people who would have negative feedback to give about, <laughs> which is a very strange thing to say in general. Plus, she seems like she's very evil, possibly a witch. So we maybe shouldn't have our comments. Yeah, I mean, her. if she, uh, I, you know, like she does look like a bad, uh, like a, an evil princess in a female at o, female at okay. in terms of like you don't want to get a mad. You know, it's like great when things are going to go, but when you get a mad, it's not a good thing. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're gonna run to the LSU uh, arch rival there, or at least from from my uh, fifty thousand foot. You want to talk about a sport? I am a TMZ fan for it's women's college basketball. Iowa, Sean, you know that Caitlin Clark plays for Iowa. I'm sure you know that. Do know that they beat Holy Shout Cross. Shout out to the rapper Cameron. He said uh, Caitlin Clark was his most exciting basketball player. Men's, women's, college pros loves her game. That's uh, he, you know what? He calls it like he sees it. No, I'll give I'll give what Cam it is. A, I'll give Cam a, a plug here. Killer yeah. Cam. Their show uh uh they, they do opened it, for us all week. They do a it. show him and uh Mace uh do a sports talk show is what it is over uh and they record at the Wind Studios before us. So, um caught a bunch of their show. Mace's laugh to me is insanely entertaining. So, if you like if you like those and Cameron's got some good takes. So, fun watch. Check him out. I, I heard someone refer to him as the Black Howard Stern. Oh, and wow. I would say that Mace's nonverbal sound effects <laughs> or sounds that his body makes are up there with Fred. So I, I could see the comparison. Anyway, Caitlin Clark, you know that they won't beat Holy Cross by twenty six. Okay. Meanwhile, they're playing West Virginia, who coming off a nice winning cover versus Princeton. But the West Virginia coach said, "Let's win one and send Caitlin Clark home in a way oh, that Caitlin wow. Clark can hear about it." Don't poke the bear. <laughs> Iowa lay in the 16. And then Sean, this is going to be one you'll tail, certainly, because we're heading to Syracuse. Plus 20 against UConn. Cues. UConn, not the same team they normally are, Sean. They lost five games this year to NC. Basically, all the good teams they played, they lost to NC State, UCLA, Texas, Notre Dame, USC, the Gamecocks. Well, interestingly enough, Syracuse beat Notre Dame twice. And. They're catching 20 points. They got good, great guard play. We like that in the women's tournament as well. Deisha fair, 32 points. 
That's as far as I'm going to take this. All bit. right. Uh, Syracuse plus 20, Iowa minus 16. Those are my best bets for Monday. Kramer, my best bets for uh, basketball on Monday. Now, I am going to professional basketball. Oh. A little break here. Uh, now, some of these are, uh, I'm going to give you a couple first half plays. I don't really care what the spread, I'll, I'll update the spread, but these are uh, just, these are attempted spreads. Uh, Celtics first half lane six and a half. I mean, oh. the Celtics team. All I hear you say is it's automatic. It is, and I kept saying that at the sports book at Ryan, and uh, this past whatever days we were out in Vegas, it added uh, to another two and oh. 52 and eighteen. The number is for the Celtics first half. They keep making it, but it's a first half spread, so they can only make it so high. Um, the full game spread right now for the Hawks is eleven and a half. Atlanta really sucks and. Boston just puts it on these teams. They've had 66, 69, 69, 59 in their first half. And the 59, they still won that first half by 15. I think they could, you know, even if they make this seven, honestly, any like even 10 points, I'm still playing it. The Celtics first half is a machine. I'll officially call it at seven. I'll update it uh, when we get the number. Uh, I'm also going to the Nuggets first half, lane nine. Maybe uh, and again, this is a, a attempted spread. We'll get a better idea. Murray and Jokic might be out, mm. but they are playing the Grizzlies, who are horrible. Uh, Nuggets thirty nine thirty one against the spread in the first half. This is the fourth road game for the Grizzlies. They're at elevation. They're not going to be feeling it in that first half. Um, right now, I'm seeing. I mean, yeah, I think I, I'll predict the. Uh, the Nuggets first half spread. The full game is uh, 16 and a, or no, sorry. That's uh, yeah. 14 and a half. So I think they'll probably make the first half cause they're, they're smart. Probably going to make it like eight and a half. I, either way, I like it there. Last but not least uh, moon off Manji from the NBA gambling podcast. Help me out with this play. The Houston Rockets team total over one fifteen and a half. and uh, They're really good. ATS at home is a favorite. Their defense hasn't been as good as of late, but their offense has been on an insane heater. They've won seven in a row. Two of their last four games, they've put up 130. And uh, without Sengun in the lineup, their pace has been through the roof. They're against the Blazers. Can't stop a nosebleed right now, especially on the road. Houston at home probably covers. Um, there's some concern with the Blazers and the back door. I think the uh, team total over is the, uh, the better play there. So Houston team total over one fifteen and a half nuggets first half minus eight and a half and Celtics first half minus seven Kramer. Perfect time to switch over to underdog fantasy, knock in another one of these best ball drafts. Let's get it. Uh, All right, let's throw up the dang, dang. Any, uh, I, I feel like this is what's fun about doing these best ball drafts are why well, hey, it's fun to get some action already um, coming up for the season. But also, I feel like this is a good way for us to catch up on all the NFL news that we kind of haven't gotten to. Mike yeah. Williams signed with the Jets, super team assembling there out in New York. Yeah, New York and Philly. All right, so you want to do the $10 one or the $100 one? Ah, uh, we can do the ten dollar. A right. hundred dollar one this Feel, far. Out. Yeah, pre-draft, probably a little reckless. All right. So, and, oh and no, wait, 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 get out, get out. How Fuck. do I leave? Wait, we're both in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. I'm in. Hopefully, some of the listeners got in. And again, underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Get the hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Uh, once Best Ball Mania launches, that's they're twenty five dollars an entry, and you get four free entries. So basically, you get four free shots at winning a million dollars in fantasy football. But I, I'm reiterating, this is best ball. I'm done with regular season, season long fantasy football. Why is that? It's just annoying. So you're, you're uh, we will not be participating in the ETH league. Uh, maybe we'll see. ETH is up. So it, it won't feel like as much money uh, playing in it. Cause we got ETH at the right time as a company. Kramer, what are you, uh, what are you drafting at? I'm number nine. You're number ten. Oh, this is ideal. I can snipe all your, uh, all everyone you Are want. Are we right next to each other? Yep. That's horrible. Draft starting in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and we're drafted. All right. I better, I better pay attention. That will be good enough. There are a lot of red shields that I should be worried about. 
Kramer, I don't, I don't see shields. Uh, oh. Christian McCaffrey, CD Lamb goes number oh, two that, overall. I think we're gonna have to get oh used to that. Show. Why is he shooting up draft boards? I don't I, because Tyree he, Kill, Jamar Chase. Have you noticed the new look for uh, Underdog? They now include a. Uh, John Robinson goes five. Justin Jefferson goes six. Uh, Brees Hall number seven. I'm on Ross St. Brown eight. I'm on the clock. Oh man, I'm not taking Puka Nakua over AJ Brown. Sorry. AJ Brown still a dominant receiver, still full point PPR. I I I don't you know with Kirk Cousins not being there. I don't. Are you downgrading Justin Jefferson, Ryan? I think that's something we haven't broken down on this show yet. Uh, probably not, because I think the new offense is going to include just as much. You know, throw it to him if possible. Yeah, I and. <laughs> Yeah, I just don't see a world where he doesn't get a shit ton of targets. Uh, do you think Sam Darnold is their starter? That's another question. No. I mean, not everything we've heard from all the insiders, no, 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 no. Uh, Schefter, uh, Crack Rock, <laughs> they all, they all seem to think that Minnesota will be trading up based on what ownership is talking about. We all know that ownership has a lot of control up there. Puga Nakua, uh, Jameer Gibbs, Garrett Wilson. So, I mean, w- first round, we got two Jets. Already, what could go wrong? Uh, it does seem off, right? Hard that to that high-powered Jets hard, offense. Hard to buy that. How one? can you not load up? Hard to buy. Brian, yes. What would you set the odds over on Cut.com right now? Giants draft JJ McCarthy. What would you make that price? Uh I think that it's it's still probably going to be plus, like pretty decent plus odds with what you're hearing about Minnesota. Okay, I think four to one. Is that crazy? Uh, I, I mean, I was thinking more like, uh, no, no, actually not. That's probably good. Oh, are you getting excited for JJ McCarthy? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Some of the film guys I trust basically are saying he's just another guy. Oh, wow. Um, but right. you know, I trust Dable, so I'll, I will have to hold out judgment, but I will be much quicker to judge. Uh, Giants to draft quarterback uh, is plus one twenty five for their first position draft. What it, are you looking at the? You have the odds in front of you. I I don't, I don't know if I can get the. I'll look up the JJ McCarthy odds. No, no, that, that was the Giants. I'm odds, mostly yes. curious what's the for, what's the receiver price. Minus one seventy five. I don't know if I would make it oh, that okay. much of a favorite over quarterback. No, that's correct. I do. I'm really starting to think that they're going to end up falling into the receiver. Jonathan Taylor, Nico Collins, Kyron Williams, Saquon Barkley. What? No comments about I took both Rams. Like pew pew. Oh, I drafted pew, Saqu- pew. I drafted Saquon Barkley accidentally. Oh wow. He was not in my queue. Oh man. Wow. What a great moment. Oh, we did the same thing. We took the same team. We took <laughs> You st- took Kyron Williams. Unique top top end stacks. So I, Marvin right, so Harrison Jr., Josh I, Allen, Drake London, Devon A Chain. So as you know, Sean, they make the data available from the underdog drafts. I think I, I am predicting that one of the ways to get unique is playing these types of stacks. Premium team stacks that don't involve the quarterback. Hmm. Uh high like draft equity. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to pull it off with with like you probably need to end up with Jalen Hurts, who just went to DJ Moore, Steph Diggs. Duh. Wait, you said I need to end up with Jalen. Jalen what Hurts? I'm saying is I'm 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 theorizing that um, spending high draft equity on multiple skill positions from the same team is going to be a good way to get unique. I think most of the people are going to look at the data from last year and suggest that you don't want to do that. You don't want to narrow your, your opportunity and spend all of your draft equity on one team. Hmm. So I think it's in a weird way, a way to be different. So especially don't, don't take, no, no, no. I, the Eagles are a, a little bit different than the Rams because the quarterback okay. is so much more expensive. No, you, t- I, I still think you'd want to end up with Hertz. Yeah. Um, but I also think you, you, I mean, you like, yeah. When does Hertz go? What did you remember when he went in the last one? I do like how they you show you ADP and projected points uh, along with your rank. You can sort underdog after years of uh, just showing you the rank shows you everything. Now that's exciting. His ADP is thirty six. Um, so it's now second quarterback off the board: Lamar Jackson, then Chris Olave, Jalen Waddle. 
I mean, he, ADP wise, yeah, like you said, thirty six. So end of this Tank round. Dell. So you're gonna have to fire here. Which I mean, come on, you want to? This is an electric team, Sean. <laughs> this I, this has to be the first time I've drafted. I, I mean, my shares of Saquon Barkley usually not through the roof. Uh, Mike Evans goes different. You're you're oh, you got it. You got to do it. DK right? Metcalf, yeah, Jalen Hurts. This is pretty crazy that you can draft AJ Brown, Saquon Barkley, and Jalen Hurts. All fairly easily from the uh, nine spot there. Now, even Hertz wasn't that crazy of a reach. I mean, his ADP is thirty six. I took him thirty third overall. I mean, if you look at Hertz, Saquon, and Bar and AJ Brown, I feel like that's going to be a massive percentage of the Eagles' offensive touchdowns this season. Yeah. Sam Laporta, Michael Pittman Jr. off the board. I don't know if I'm taking. I like Sam Laporta, and I, I was wrong not to take him last year as a rookie tight end. It's too early. I don't know about 35th. That's, I think that's well because they have a bunch of good receiving options. I think just think that's the other bit of the, the piece of the pie is. I mean, I mean where's Sam Laporta going to go in FFPC this year, right? Pretty high. He'll be, He's he'll full, be high. He, yeah. That's at least a, a ha one and a half point, um, one and a half point PPR for. Uh, for the tight end, Cooper Cup goes. Josh Jacobs. Oh, I was gonna take Cooper Cup next. That's all right. I think. What do we think about T. Higgins, Sean? Uh, it, it's tough. He's he's gonna request a, or has requested a trade, but Cincinnati is notorious for telling players to fuck off and just making him play it out. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. I was. He feels a little bit like one but of I, those. I, I, yeah, I think I was taking him around and a half high. I was. I, I feel like both Pittman and Higgins are two guys I'm going to be on a bunch bunch this year. So Devonta Smith, is that crazy? Yes, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> who cares? We're drafting in funny. March. This is such a funny team, though. Uh, well, here's now, my here's now. my take on T Higgins. I think his situation in Cincinnati is pretty good as is. I think it can only get better. Like if someone is giving up a bunch for T Higgins and they're signing him to a massive contract, it's only going to get better. I, I don't think there's going to be a situation where it's like he. Doesn't play. Well, that's the point. So last year, with his situation, Jamar Chase was going top five, which he's still going, and he was going end of the second round. So what has really changed that depresses his value to the fourth round? That doesn't seem it doesn't seem right to me. I mean, maybe it's just people getting excited about rookies, but uh, cereal in the chat wants to know. Well, first off, he says. Uh, Shout out to the fellows for the best ball picks. Only network I know where you don't have to watch a sport all season can still win some bets. Let's go. Um, he was talking, or sorry, B ball picks, meaning uh, hopping in on some college basketball. Uh, he also wants to know Giants got the most expensive backup quarterback. Mm, we'll see. Vikings could end up being more expensive if they end up playing there. I think uh, he's rookie. talking about, I think he's making a joke about Daniel Jones. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was saying third string uh, for Daniel. But. but but yeah, no. I mean, they actually do not have an expense. Like Lock was a very cheap deal. It was cheaper than Tyrod Taylor. I mean, it's uh, but he's right. Daniel Jones is gonna uh, massive cap. Uh, do we have any interest in watching a digital breaking into the draft? Maybe after our next set of picks, <laughs> sure. We'll immediately uh, to give us maximum time. We'll break into a digital horse race. <laughs> sure. Well, that do you think the audience? We'll see if the, all right. It, the chat has to say they want to see my one of my horses run. Uh, Sierra also say, what's the over under of Hertz sneaks with Saquon? That that is an interesting question, fantasy wise. I still think they're going to be using the tush push, although we'll see. I mean, Kelsey was a big part of it, um, calling it out and getting that initial push. We'll see if it's quite as effective, but I think so. Um, that it, I mean, why would they not? Like, unless unless the tush push really doesn't start stops working for whatever reason, I would be shocked by if they would get away. From Look it. at this uh, team in the one hole, Sean. Got a little. Uh, they have Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, Rashi Rice, Patrick Mahomes, Isaiah Pacheco. An interesting mix here. Yeah, a nice little Chief stack, low yeah. lower cost. Well, Rashi Rice going in the third round. I think. Th I mean, it's not going to be a crazy prediction, but I think he's going to be uh, middle, if not top of the second round by the end by the end of the offseason. Anthony Richardson goes. Mari Cooper, Terry McLaurin, James Cook. I don't know if I want anything to do with James Cook. Obviously. Any other Eagles to draft? Uh, no, but I'll go back to uh, old reliable uh, George Pickens. Now that Russ is going to be chucking up the deep hmm. ball, look out. 
I mean, you want to talk about the perfect guy for best ball, George Pickens. He only runs one route. It's a deep ball. You know, Russ is dying to just chuck up some deep ones or Justin Fields. We haven't even talked to it was funny when we were breaking down the odds, we were like, how can Justin Fields and Russell Wilson both be the favorite to land in Pittsburgh? Hashtag Vegas knows Ryan as they both they know. end up in uh, end up as Steelers. That's going to be interesting. Um, I, I really like the idea of Tomlin coaching up Justin Fields. I feel like we haven't uh, and Arthur Smith uh, yeah, you laugh I mean, about it, but that's perfect. No, like they should generate, get rid of Russell Wilson. Um, I, I get why you brought him in. He's a free quarterback for a million dollars. Commit to running Justin Fields twelve times a game and just build your offense off that. Yeah. You have Jalen Warren, you have Najee Harris, and you have some guys that can take some deep shots. Like you could really put together a uh, a fun offense. I, I think I'm gonna have to ha- make Hollywood Brown higher. I didn't want to talk about him with that Chiefs team, but I and I I thought I could save him for the next round because his ADP is seventy two, Sean. Um, he goes at the end of this round, not the beginning of this round. So people, Hollywood Brown's going to have a good year on the Chiefs. Speaking of news that, um, which by the way, I, I was out in Vegas and I uh, re-procured a Chiefs ticket uh, for the Patreon winner, and it's still six fifty. So the, the Hollywood Brown news did not move the needle. Yeah. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, I, I can. Okay. I can believe that. All right. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take. Uh, let's see. What should we take? This is a weird part of the draft. I don't think so. Really? For me, I already have a quarterback, Jordan Addison. I don't know about that. I mean, plays with Justin Jefferson. Yeah. In, a, in an offense that gets guys open. Yeah. He's going to be in his Sam second Darnold? year. I, I don't care who it's or with. a rookie quarterback. I I mean, I don't care with Justin Jefferson. I feel like I would care with Jordan Addison. I mean, he was doing it with Dobbs, dude. Josh Dobbs. I mean, it. I. I don't think it's the craziest thing that Jordan Addison can take a big step forward. Uh, J- Jackson Smith and Jigba for me, he's a uh, year two guy that could make a jump. Fun addition to the roster there. Running backs getting pretty interesting. I mean, Aaron Jones on the Vikings, Ryan. I know you're all in on Aaron Jones. Why are you bringing it up? Why are you talking about it, bro? But he, are you still high on him on this Vikings team? Yeah. The, the fact that the Packers Higher. really, because the, the fact that Higher. Packers got rid of him, uh, let him go in conference or in divisions, a little scary. What have you not been? You've not been keeping up with our with our guy Crack Rock because he also had a great nugget here. Vikings stoked to have him. He's very, very, very much hungry to get back at the Packers, who refuse the, the amount of money that they. Tried to, to get him to take a pay cut for seemed a little insulting. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, I, I've heard that many a times. Uh, like when the Eagles signed DeMarco Murray, he was hungry to shove it down the uh, Cowboys' yep. throat. I guess I'm just worried. Did Aaron, jo- other than the injury, did he look washed up to you? Because there, there's a number of running backs who I feel moved on to another team. Uh, I mean, Derrick Henry. People aren't talking about it. Like we got to brush it under the rug. But Derrick Henry did not look good last year. Aaron Jones to me looked amazing, and, and if anything, he, part of the re, like th- their gr- greatest, th- their greatness came with Aaron Jones being healthy in terms I didn't, of that offense. I didn't, I didn't, I test. I don't think he looked great. And did uh, the Packers' offense have a great game without him? Um, I think he kind of was the. I mean, I could, I can pull some stuff up. I would just say the the fact that they're willing to move on. They're, they drafted him. They had him their entire career. They're cheap. They're they're a cheap franchise that does Are this they? all the time. They're, they're spending money now. They do this like. all the time. Uh, I feel like they're spending money. The Josh Jacobs thing. They felt like it was an upgrade uh, to to get younger around the same kind of contract. So, I mean, if anything, it's weird that they're they, they spend on running back at all because of the style of the franchise, but that just shows you what LaFleur wants to do. Now that Aaron Rodgers is gone, there's no quarterback that's going to complain about it. So Jordan love did his thing, but yeah, I, I would uh, long story short, I'm going to have a lot of Aaron Jones this year <laughs> and he went, thanks for bringing him up. No, 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 problem. it's fine. It's fine. I wasn't, it wasn't like I was going to get a sneaky little Minnesota stack there. It's fine. Take move. Uh, Deontay Johnson is uh, creeping up towards the top of the board. Uh, did you see that mega deal? 
What do you mean, mega deal? Well, he got shipped off to Carolina. Never a good sign when uh, Tomlin ships <laughs> off a wide receiver. Never a good sign. Uh, I mean, Antonio Brown had some productive moments. Granted, he was super crazy, but uh, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins goes. That'll be interesting to see. Is he technically a free agent, or what's his deal with Tennessee? No, he's with Tennessee. Did he resign? Or um, I thought it was one of those things that they could cut him, and that they might. Uh, James Conner goes. Chris Godwin, George Kittle, Evan Ingram. Oh, well, maybe I'm I'm mistaken. He's under contract. No, I think he is. I think there was so just they could some, save some ten speculation. Point, yeah. They could save ten point four, but they would have. Seven point eight. Okay. Well, and and the At post June first cut, they saved sixteen point three with only two point two million in dead cap. And quietly, or not so quietly, the Titans kind of pushing all in. They brought in Tony Pollard. Uh, they got Legarius Sneed. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, I mean, t- this to me is signaling the that clock. they're feeling pretty good about um, that they're feeling pretty good about uh, our buddy Will Levis. I'm taking Najee Harris once again. Let's go. I mean, I thought he was a good pick last year. Um, let's see. I mean, I get, I get why you're concerned about about Jalen Warren stealing some of his uh, stealing some of his snaps and carries, but he's still at a yeah. I mean, a thousand thirty-five yards, eight touchdowns. No, I'm with you. I I was hoping to snake both of them. 38 catches. If you didn't take Najee, I was going to take Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. It's Arthur Smith. What am I like? What are people missing? Yeah, Tyler Algier can do it as a number two. And we see these guys all the time. They just run the shit out of them uh, during their rookie contract, and then don't resign them. <laughs> I mean, it's bad for them, but it's uh, it's great for. Uh, the spot there. I'm surprised the Titans signed uh, Tony Pollard. I mean, I thought they would just be happy with uh, Tajay Spears. I thought I, Tajay Spears has has some had some explosive moments. Like I, I thought part of the reason you get rid of Derrick Henry is because you like so much what Tajay Spears had. Offered. No, you just want guys who have pop, and Derrick Henry had none. I mean, look look who the coach is. His dad True. is the all time one of the all time great offensive line coach. They, I think they're going to plan on running the rock. And I, we didn't get to this when I drafted Calvin Ridley earlier, Sean. But if you go look at any of the analysis on what Calvin Ridley is still doing at an elite level, what do you? If you had to guess what Calvin Ridley is doing at elite an elite level, what what would you what would you yards do? after the catch? No separation, uh, fade routes and deep shit. Mm. Will Levis, what did he do at a, a half decent <laughs> rate with D Hop? Deep shit. Yeah, I mean, oh, I, D, oh, in my head, I thought you uh, no like, Calvin Ridley like. No, I did say it. I did take Calvin Ridley. I'm saying we saw him be successful with D hop. They're not, they basically went out and got the, the best version of what, you know, a guy, he may not do everything like, like an elite receiver, but he certainly can still get open deep. And you know, I I like the idea of a team that's going to run the rock and, and chuck it deep. The, the slot machine did tell us slot. How's the slots all over AFC. I did get a hand pay with the Titans. So uh, I got a I got a maxi bonus with the Titans as well. I drafted Nick Chubb, who Ooh. doesn't seem like he might be ready to go uh, beginning of the season, but he tore it the first game. I'm still I'm still kind of optimistic that this might be a decent. I mean, yeah. literally the first game, and by all accounts, it wasn't as bad as people thought. I, I don't know why there's not uh, more optimism about this Nick Chubb injury. So I'll, I'll roll the dice here in the eighth round that he ends up becoming a a guy that could carry late. All right. Are we going to break it in? Yeah, I forgot about it. Let's go. I don't know if the, I I don't think I can get the sound going. That's all right though. Um shit. youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast to see Ryan's Look at this digital shit. horse go. Look at this shit. All right, I'll be able to tell you exactly where I am as soon as the race starts. Did and not- they're off. Did not do any prep. All right, so where where our gal is the name? Not in the top, not in the top six right now. You'll see. There's a sweet SGP on the jockey though. Oh my goodness, we're getting crushed. I think we're the ten <laughs> horse. I think we're the ten horse. And you can see that. I mean, a- anyone who's watching this is probably like, "Holy shit, what am I watching?" Photo finish live. Josh, make sure this gets clipped. 
This is electric stuff here. Oh, it is uh, pounding <laughs> electric. Without sound, it's just not quite as. It fun. isn't. It isn't. Brock I agree. Purdy uh, goes. Caleb Williams in the ninth round. Who would you rather have next year for fantasy, Ryan? Brock Purdy or Caleb Williams? You gotta say Brock Purdy. I mean, as much as I hate Brock Purdy, you gotta say Brock Purdy. Yeah. Well, because Caleb Williams is going to be on the Bears' offense, and and when when have the Bears ever had a fantasy uh, relevant uh, quarterback? Maybe this is the year. Uh, Tua goes. Oh, do you, what are you thinking about that at this point with the quarterbacks who are available? <laughs> is that is that the move? I don't know. I, I I can't take Tua right here. I do like the Chase Brown draft pick. That's a good. That's a good one. I mean, yeah, I like and. He's another guy that I thought. Um, I, I he's, he's yeah. getting drafted here because they expect there to be competition, I suppose. Tua gets drafted ahead of Justin Herbert, Trevor Lawrence, Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins. I think people are going to be scared off our Herbert because of uh, all the offseason moves that the Chargers are doing are kind of signaling that um, they're going to be a run heavy offense. So it'll be interesting to see. All right, you're almost on the clock. I know you're you're locked into this extremely long race. Like two laps. Do you think? Uh, do you th- Justin Fields is a higher draft position than uh, than uh, Russell Wilson? Do you think that will hold? No. Okay. Oh wow, we got our ass. Romeo beat. Dobbs, Austin Eckler beat. goes. Uh, Tajay Spears is available. Hmm. By the way, did you? Say, you didn't, we didn't even really talk about Kyler Murray that I drafted. I'm actually going to take Justin Herbert. I got one. Uh, quarterback with some rushing upside and hurts and Justin Herbert uh, to me, I know, I know people are worried about the, um, you know, they're not going to be throwing at that same volume, but I think passing touchdowns, I think are still going to be solid since he signed Zach Moss. That's the reason. Yeah. Chase Brown's down here, yeah. Ryan, who, who are going to be the uh, starting receivers for the chargers? Uh, Guyton Palmer. Whatever other rookies they got under contract. How is Amir White available? <laughs> Did you see? Have you seen any of this? Antonio Pierce run the damn ball, and I I don't know. Samir. Did the Did the Raiders sign anyone? And I should we double check that? Double check that. But right now, Darius Davis, Quentin Johnson, Josh Palmer. I'm guessing that's why um, people aren't high on uh, Justin Herbert. But still, I mean, still. Herbert has a cannon and in the <laughs> great hand in that, in that well, he does. I mean, he figures out ways not to win games, but uh Zamir white goes to Kramer, Jacoby Myers. Uh, they signed Alex Trey, Madison. Trey I'm not Benson. Scared. I'm not, they signed Alex Madison. Should I be scared? No, right? No. Alex Madison's being paid like a backup. I'm a little bummed. I missed out on Anthony Richardson. I think uh, him as your second quarterback is a pretty fun one. I don't have any. Oh, I've no. I have Kyler Murray. I'm good. At, I'm I'm super good at quarterback. You're just taking two quarterbacks, probably. I like to me when I, I'm looking at this part of the draft, and I I'm really liking a lot of the running backs right now, and it does feel a little bit like the, there's a bit of a a drop off after this. Zach Moss goes. Kramer's back on the clock. Yeah, I don't mind buying into. I'll be a little bit of a homer here. Oh, I knew Devin Singletary is going off the board. I'm going Tajay Spears. Yeah, the the that explosiveness was he's shown to me is like pretty big upside. That was the decision because I I do have <laughs> Calvin Ridley. So it'd be there's a little you know. So I got four running backs, five receivers, and a quarterback. Sean, what about you? Uh, interesting build for me so far. I got two quarterbacks, four running backs, four receivers. Oh, okay. Very but, balanced. No well, tight that's ends. The thing, uh, no, but that's the thing with this Chargers team. Oh, there's a tight end on the board. You should put in your queue. Hopefully, you get which one? Here. Surprised you didn't pull the trigger. Oh, Donald Parham. No, the one that's on the Eagles. Oh, <laughs> I tried to not say it. I'm just looking. You can get like uh, Quentin Johnson, Josh Palmer. Do you sort? What's what are you sorting? Jalen Guyton. The chat wants to know what Sean sorts by. What do you mean? Do you sort by rank or ADP? Oh, that's a good question. I just leave the what's it default to ADP? I don't know. I think it's default to ADP, so that's usually what I just leave it on. 
unless I'm looking for a specific guy. Well, it's a new feature, so shout out. We got to yeah, I might pump play up around the new with it. Hey, uh, speaking of new, got a new uh, sponsor, Unified. Whether you're a world class athlete or a world class podcaster like myself, I'm actually both a world class athlete and a world class podcaster. Shout out to my hot yoga uh, class. We all under, understand the importance of meta, mental and physical well being, proper recovery for top notch performance. I mean, I definitely, I'll speak for uh, myself, Ryan, Colby, CJ. I feel like the entire team that was out in Vegas is in need for some proper recovery. Um, that's why we got Unified Healing. It's a new and super innovative global network of wellness centers provided by Energy Enhancement System or EE system. If you haven't heard of an EE system yet, you'll want to listen up. The technology promotes wellness, deep relaxation, purification, rejuvenic re uh, rejuvenation, whether you're in uh, you're out here in LA or uh, hundreds of locations across the globe. Um, definitely worth checking these guys out. Interested in experiencing the EE system technology for yourself. Go to unified healing.com slash S G P N that's U N I F Y D healing.com slash S G P N unified healing. Um, and of course, no material or testimonials on the Unified Healing website are intended to be viewed as medical advice or a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or treatment and before undertaking a new healthcare regimen, including the EE system. Bum, bum. Lad McConkey went. Sean. Ooh, did you where, hear, does, where does Lad go? Did you hear about the uh, the metrics he laid down? He's got legit speed, good GPS numbers. Could be a second round pick, maybe. Hmm. Possibly. Uh, <laughs> what? Who is telling me that he'd be a first rounder if he wasn't white? That might that might have been. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds like we have a couple people we crossed paths with this past <laughs> week that that's in their rep repertoire. Thoughts on Kyler. Kyler. Yeah, Th I mean th massive upside. What round did you draft Kyler in? Eighth. Kind of in a dead zone. I he's the la he's the last mobile guy. Well, unless you count um Justin Fields. Yeah, no, I it, that's fair. Justin Fields draft stock is interesting because I do think he's pretty much gonna be the backup coming in, but I mean Russ is getting up there in age. Maybe they do some. I I could see him having like three games. You know, couldn't, couldn't you just see Justin Fields in the fantasy football in the underdog best ball playoffs? He's in my queue. Having a game that wrecks everyone. You know, like he's in my oh, queue. Oh, oh, you know, fifty five percent of users advance that had Justin Fields as their third quarterback because he's just had. He's a tough guy to handicap because he's clearly coming in as a backup. But you look at best fantasy football performances last year or the year before, he has like. A bunch of them. Either either something horrible is about to happen. I don't want. I'm not. I don't want. Wow, ruin it. Ryan. I don't want to ruin it. What? Do you I don't want to ruin the horrible. Oh my goodness! What a what a gift you've been given, Gabe Davis. All right, Dallas Goddard wow. in the eleventh round. The why is what <laughs> happened to him? Why is he uh, falling down so far? I don't know. People are just haters of the Eagles. I guess so. All right, I'm gonna. The offense fell apart second half of the season, or I mean, the team really did. All right, I I think we got to take some receivers here. Who's your Devo saying? Lad McConkey is the next Wes Welker or Julian Edelman or Rex Burkhead or any white receiver ever. He he could be interesting in like a in a full point PPR. We'll see what kind of offense he goes to. I took uh, I took uh, Khalil Shakir. <laughs> I I have no stacks for Kyler. Do I go full naked on Kyler? Kind of intrigued. Don't really know how to play it. All right, so interesting. I had I had Fryermuth uh, starred. I wonder what he'll do in the Arthur Smith offense. Feel like he's a bit of a gamble this year because we've seen him be a pretty good, awesome target, and you know, ex just kind of seeing the way that 
Arthur Smith used his tight ends. Like he couldn't use well, Kyle. I think, I think, but he also uh, he used Jonu Smith, yeah. who's more of a yards after the catch guy. And I don't think that's. I think he just hard. hated Kyle Pitts. I think that was the issue. Maybe. All right. Uh, backup quarterback with Stafford. a stack. Okay. Well, I got I got uh, Puka and Kyron Williams, if you remember. Yeah. So I kind of had to do this. I'm going uh, going Rashid Shahid. It's always a guy, just massive upside. Couple bombs a game. It'll be interesting to see where Jalen. So, oh, go ahead. No, I, I, Jalen Guyton doesn't have an ADP. I guess people are just assuming that um, he's going to bring in guys. Yeah. All right, which, so is, Ke- which is fair, but Keon Coleman, who was just drafted, he's the big slow receiver out of uh, Florida State. He ran the slow forty time, but he his slow forty time disguises that he had the second fastest GPS time through the gauntlet. That drill where they catch the passes on their right and left, Sean. You're familiar? Yes. So slow forty time, but second fastest GPS score in the gauntlet. Do you know who that uh, resembles oh from the year God. before? No, Puka Nakua. Oh, Slow really? Forty time, but clocked the fastest GPS time through the gauntlet, which is basically game speed versus let's get in our underwear and run a fucking race. This was interesting, and I think it might have been. Uh, anyway, so I like Keon Coleman. You should draft okay. Keon Coleman. Uh, this was uh, I was hearing someone talk analytics, and they said everyone makes fun of the uh, the offensive lineman running the forty. When are they ever going to run yeah. forty yards? But it has actually been the greatest. Like if you did comparative analysis of everything they do at the combine, like quantitative, just the highest correlation between good 40 time and ended up being a good uh, draft pick. It, it's for, crazy. for alignment for offensive, all, linemen, all positions particular. or anything, any, any way to, like, is it more of it a was, tackle thing? Uh, I think it was all. And they okay. were just basically saying, the explosive, the athletic ability you need to reach a good 40 speed ends up helping you in the NFL. But And the reason you also run the 40 is because you measure the first five, the first 10, et cetera. And that's what you really care about with alignment. Like, it, all right, okay. No, but that's, that's what he was saying. He said like they dug deep and actually it wasn't the first 10 yards, which you would think is what you're actually going to be doing in a game. And it was the 40 time. That was the greatest uh, indicator. Who is drafting Josh Palmer without having? Um, that is a little weird. Without having uh, old. Uh, who do you think? Who do you think they draft, Ryan? Uh, it's a very deep class, so yeah. And if they if they do trade, uh, Michael Wilson goes. I was going to stack him with Stafford, dude. That's not cool. That's really not cool. Uh, I, I mean, what what kind of receiver is a Harbaugh receiver? Do they block? Yeah. That's my first thought. So I would look for the receiver who grades the, the, the best receiver prior prior investment in the first two. I mean, if they're trading down and getting multiple first round picks, you have to expect one of that. One of them's for a receiver, right? But also do they have a running back? Like I, is, is he just going to draft quorum later in the draft and, and bring him down there? Is there a chance that he Stays where he is and drafts JJ McCarthy, trades Herbert. <laughs> I'm gonna keep floating that idea out there. Oh man, that would have been awesome. Is that not a great idea? The internet would explode. Giants trade for Herbert. I'm do you think Just imagine can, how sad her, Justin Deck oh, man. <laughs> if the Giants stole another quarterback from him? Uh Quentin Johnson. Can Harbaugh oh, fix him? Uh yeah. Oh, someone just took him. Why are, you, why are you taking Quentin Johnson? Luke Musgrave goes. Love Luke Musgrave, although I am worried. Um, now other tight end Tucker Craft was it? Uh, who's the other uh, Green Bay Tucker Craft? Yeah, a fellow rookie Th- who looked you're, really you're good. On the clock. I know he looked really good um, when he got in there. Can't help you here. I'm I'm kind of scrambling around to find people. Roshan Johnson. Oh, okay. Not bad for my fifth running back. All right, so do I? I do not have a tight end yet. It's probably going to start being a problem. I don't see how this guy, like my, again, uh, maybe I'm off on the type of offense they're going to run in Las Vegas, but I don't see how Michael Mayer is not a part of that attack. Um, then I just need tight ends. Desperately need tight ends.
Baker Mayfield goes. Sean, thoughts on the Bucks running it back? Yeah, I mean it's fine. Possibly not a lot of resistance down there in the South. Oh wait, they brought in the best quarterback in the league, Kirk Cousins, <laughs> Super Bowl contenders immediately. I I yeah. gotta be honest, I I it, it's shocking to me how few people are even contra- attempting to push back on the point that Kirk Cousins makes this team an instant Super Bowl contender. He's only won one playoff game in his career. You like that? He once kneeled down instead of spiking the ball. That was all time. <laughs> Why, like, it, is it odd to you that no one? Uh, again, I don't listen to a ton of stuff, but it doesn't seem like anyone in the mainstream. Well, he was the only big name quarterback, free agency, right? Yeah, but it's like, why? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I it, I don't understand why we're just ignoring the fact that this guy has been a paper tiger his whole fucking career to quote. I feel like I'm Colby now. All right. You know what? Fuck it. I do. No, I've never been a big Kirk cousins guy. Kramer, you're on the clock. I, I, uh, I was considering doing this, but I am going to go three quarterbacks and I am going to put Justin Fields on this. Oh, team. I was drafting him next. Yeah, no, no. I, I know you were. That's why I took him. No, 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 no. I do think let's be honest. There's no way Arthur Smith is going to like Russell Wilson over Justin Fields. <laughs> no way. Uh, just run the ball. Who? And honestly, if I'm Arthur Smith, I say fuck it. Two quarterback system. We're bringing Justin Fields in to fucking run the ball. Well, it's interesting because I I know they're gonna have packages for Justin yeah, Fields, and packages. it'll be it'll be interesting to see if any of those, like in games, Russell Wilson starts. I'm gonna see if I can get a Justin Fields two touchdowns. Ooh, <clears throat> one because of injury, and two just I could see them using him goal line. Or like Russell Wilson starter starter for the game. What do you think they make Justin well, Fields' it, first touchdown? We're, we're gonna be on it. But we probably shouldn't one. talk about it. It might, it might not hit, and then people might might get upset. Uh real quick, Roman Wilson was drafted, Sean. I'm not sure if you're familiar with who Roman Wilson is. Uh, but uh, he he played for Michigan uh in college. Oh, damn it. He was I was just Googling. Are you familiar with the story? Uh, no, no, but okay. I was just looking up Michigan receivers as someone who might uh, add to my stack. Yeah, so 100% he could be a guy that goes to San Diego. He's from Hawaii. So we know the Chargers have a huge, uh, if they have a huge fan base anywhere, it's on the islands. And Sean, growing up in Hawaii, he had to commute via airplane to his fucking school oh, to that, play good football. Okay, so yeah, this I do know this guy. That's a crazy um, story. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, from what I understand, he's had a good off season and to your point, it, it, Harbaugh needs some receivers. So I, I think he's a pretty interesting guy to pencil in down there. I mean, especially for receivers, knowing going into a system, it's a completely different angle in terms of being a first year guy. I think that gives you a pretty nice leg up. How's your team structure looking Sean? Got two quarterbacks, five running backs, five receivers, two tight ends. I got uh I don't know if we mentioned it. Dallas Goddard and Isaiah Likely. Nice. Yeah, so I got three quarterbacks, four running backs, six receivers, and a tight end. And one of the tight ends who I so Jonu Smith is on the Dolphins. It seems like he could have a tremendous amount of success in like a Debo Samuel type role for the Dolphins. Yeah, the problem is they don't they didn't because of the tight end that they had. Yeah. Jonu they you signed Jonu Smith because Jonu Smith does it one thing well. He 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 crack back blocks well because he's coming in motion and or he runs on that just crosser. I, I only have one tight end though, and I did say my rule I have to I have to take three. Have to take three. Thoughts on my rule? Yeah, I, I always take three tight ends. I guess I feel like last year I had some teams. Well, all my teams suck last year, so uh, I don't know. If it, I don't know if I'm taking anything away from it, but I did have some Kelsey and like one other tight end. Do you want to know what the nerds are pivoting to? Four tight ends, getting unique by. They're calling it scrolling the f down. Overzet did a video, but basically the concept is get weird, get unique with your last couple picks, and go off board. Draft the guys that aren't being drafted, because getting a guy who has ten percent ownership because he wasn't getting drafted, 
is a better way to get unique than, hmm. and, and so instead of trying to like, la like more or less, don't be afraid to go off the board, which is an interesting concept. I think we've already kind of been doing it with our last couple picks. Anyway, the Keaton Mitchells of the world shall. Oh yeah. I mean, you gotta, who's taking chalky stuff late, but it's more, it's more thinking about it's more thinking about what you're drafting into ownership wise, right? Like the, the same way you think about DFS, Sean, in yes. a GPP, where you say, you know, there's a certain ownership where you might not like a guy regardless. Correct? Yep. And there's also a certain ownership where that makes a guy way more attractive. And so instead of thinking it about where you're on the clock, instead of thinking about it in terms of where I'm drafting this guy relative to where he was being drafted before. So like ADP value, think about best ball in terms of ownership value. So a guy who's not being drafted, who all of a sudden is being drafted becomes interesting from that perspective. All right. I need tight end, Sean. Does that make sense to you? Uh, somewhat. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go off the board here. And take uh, Mr. Allen, tight end for the Rams. So I have a feeling could end up being their starter. He's a stack for me yeah, with Fields. Yeah, there was some. Did they sign someone? There was something that happened to the Rams that was like, oh, that's why we shouldn't draft Allen. Oh no. Um, Colby Parkinson. Oh well, he's a blocker. Yeah. I thought something. Maybe uh, I'm trying to think. I thought maybe they Hunter Long. They did something. I, I I'll I'll look it up. But something to keep it on. I drafted a uh, Derek Carr. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Higby? Well, Higby blew out his. Uh, ACL. He's out for the year. Uh, probably. I mean, it was it was in their playoff game against the Lions. I guess it's Col it's Colby Parkinson, but I I he's more of a blocking tight end. If I'm maybe I'm wrong. Either way, it's Rashad correlated. Bateman's available. Oh, you know who I think um is Zeke gone yet? Now that'll be interesting to see what Ramon what the if Ramondre could have a bounce back year. He really fell off the map. That was that was a weird one. Ryan, do we run it back with um Damian Pierce? So the idea that he ends up on a, a better fitting team. Cause I think I don't think the Texans are gonna cut? keep him around. No, I mean, wh when was his original draft? I don't think he was a high. Yeah, I'm just saying they Texans could easily cut him. He was a fourth round pick. Yeah, that could have just been one great year. I don't. I. It's hard to think about him in the form of guaranteed work. All right, I took Demario Pop Douglas. I mean, he had 49 catches last year. They, who else up there is catching the football? Someone's got to catch it. Took Jalen Hyatt. Uh, who's throwing it to him, Ryan? Drake May. Trade up. I just how are you gonna trade up? Neither. I just don't see it. You didn't ask me to I'm just telling you, I think there's gonna I still think there's gonna be a trade up. Okay. If they trade up, they're getting I think they're trading up for JJ McCarthy. If they don't they trade, trade up, up, they're getting I think I believe that Drake may is just as interesting to the giants as JJ McCarthy. Yeah. And I think one of the top I three think you teams would have to trade up way more for Drake may than JJ McCarthy. Oh, uh, not if JJ McCarthy goes in the top three. Okay. Patriots McCarthy. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Yeah, I don't want to say something out of line, but Feels like the kind of thing Robert Kraft would do. Oh, buddy, Robert Kraft. You have to know when to call. Hey, reminder: if you haven't already, signed up over on Hall of Fame Bets, aka HOFBets.com. Optimize some parlays. They got the college basketball product alive and well. Producer Josh has been crushing it with some uh, NBA little same game parlays, little SGPs, a ten to one, twelve to one, and a ten to one. 50% off your first month. Give it a shot. I think you're going to like it. Again, what are you digging through all these stats, the matchups. Hey, how many times has this receiver uh, had over 20 yards? Or, you know, how many times has uh, Tyrese Maxey gotten over three and a half rebounds? Whatever it is, 
HOF bets has you covered quick stats, easy. Um, and they help you out with the parlay and then follow them on social as well. They give out a bunch of uh, stuff. Their algorithm likes fun way to cash in and uh, makes your research aspect of this uh, gig way easier. So go to HOFbets.com or download the hall of fame bets app. Use the promo code S G P N Zeke is still available. Oh, Jawan Johnson went. I didn't think I had to. Sean, are you in the chat? Am I in the chat? I've been checking in on the chat. Cody Frazier, five bucks. Great time seeing y'all this week in Vegas. Thanks for the meme on Twitter, you bastards. Oh uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Which, shout out to uh, Cody. Merch madness. <laughs> uh, yeah, passed out. Rocking a sweet college experience hat. Had to get it on the gram. And it was just so great <laughs> to compare him and uh, and uh, the uh, the Yale guy uh, because just two completely op- opposite different worlds. And I did tweet <laughs> out uh, the Yale guy photo and said we'll give away a fifty dollar gift card to the best answer of how is this guy coping with the loss tonight? Uh, I mean, that's not a serious sweater, right? It's meant to be a parody, right? This is one of these things where <laughs> one guy did, uh, one guy did uh, <laughs> uh, tweet an amazing um, American Psycho gif. Oh yeah, <laughs> I th- which I think has a Yale <laughs> reference in it. Still need a tight end. Do you still need a tight end? Uh, I'm gonna take a third tight end. Yes. Are you doing it right now? Oh, because I'm on the clock. No, no problem. Trying to help you out. Thank you. You took Spears, yeah? Oh, wow. Donald Parham, baby. All right, I'm going to go uh, unstacked here. But uh, you know who the guy uh, in Cincy this year is going to be? A little sideways stack with T. Higgins, oh, maybe. Mike Gusecki. Yeah. Feels like that could fit in nicely. So he's going to get us a uh, first touchdown, I got a feeling. All right, I have uh, three quarterbacks, four running backs, seven receivers, three tight ends. How about you? Three quarterbacks, five running Ooh. backs, six receivers, three tight ends. Real boomer lineup you got. So then, what do we finish with? We finish with maybe a running back here. We have two more round, three more rounds. Hmm. Did uh, should you draft Jameis Winston? Right, he's available. Oh, would I love to do that? I mean, he's already creating great <laughs> sound bites. Wait, well, we got to. Uh, I'm gonna try. A ch- <laughs> I, <laughs> can I send you a Twitter video? Uh, yeah, send it to Josh. He can play. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, D- uh D- Daniel Jones is like going undrafted this year. I'm gonna have to start drafting him late just in case. Ooh. Shauna, you're about to be on the clock. FYI. Yep. I'll go as slow as possible. Thank you. Uh this is an interesting time, and I, I've been such a stand of this guy. I'm gonna just Oh Chig Conquo just went. Yeah, and I'm gonna take Traylon Burks. One last okay. hurrah. I'm gonna take AT Perry. I know most of it was the uh, Jameis when he was filling in for uh, Derek Carr, but I mean he still had four touchdowns as a rookie. Like he has some big explosive plays. So I get him and Rashid Shahid to stack with uh, Derek Carr. And I'm loading up my queue with guys who I think are close to being off the board. So I'm trying to be trying to be weird here. It's super weird. Zeke is available, Ryan. I know. I think he's going to be the star. It's not going to be Rico Dowdle, right? Are we sure about this? Oh, I'm going to draft Zeke if he's available next. Why is Elijah Moore still available? Uh, well, they did bring in Jerry Judy. There's probably some concern there. Yeah, I'm just answering the question. No, I'm just. Disrespectful that Darius Slayton is still available. I will say that loud. <laughs> so I'm just laughing at this Jameis Winston video as I pull it up. <laughs> um, 
It's a YouTube video, Josh. I'm sending it to you now. <laughs> and it's quick, so just make sure we have the sound up <laughs> when we play it. I can't believe I must have sent this to you, Ryan, as a fellow Jameis connoisseur. I think I know what you're talking about. But. Public service announcement Dog Pound. What's up? It's your new quarterback, Jameis Winston, coming here to help lead and support and help get us some victories. All right. You know, we're here. We're live and local. We know you love us. I can't wait to see you soon. I can't wait to re really get in this building, get to work with Deshaun, get to work with, with David. Like, it's going to be unbelievable. Thank you for the support always. I look forward to meeting all y'all soon. Training camp 2024 coming real soon. Thank you. It's uh, part of why it's so funny is he does a, uh, he goes public service announcement and he, <laughs> he does a, he picks up the phone. <laughs> Uh, you got to see the visual of it. Um, uh, I don't think it's quite as funny if it's just audio. No, I agree. <laughs> Public you, service. You video. All right, what are you what are you looking to do here as this draft uh, wraps up? I I think it's also okay to take four tight ends this year with these extra picks. Yeah, I don't know. I just I, how many teams I, I looked at. I had a lot of teams that had no tight end. It just seems like it's a. Michael Thomas Ryan, where does he end up? Does he have? I don't know. That guy seems like a it's bit of a head. I'd case. imagine there's certain owners that want nothing to do with him. It's true. Think so. All it takes is one. That's also true. Hmm. Ding ding. We're almost up. We gotta, we gotta stay uh, vigilant. Can't believe my horse got there. Got her ass kicked. Very disappointing. <laughs> wow. Just looking at this uh, deal the Cardinals did with DJ Dallas. It's a th it's a multi year deal. Very strange. They spread the money out in a weird way. You don't typically see this. Hmm. Like he's going to be with the team. I might roll the dice here with the. What it's would the nineteenth round. I just Zeke explained. Zeke or Will Shipley? Oh Zeke. If he goes back to Dallas, that offense is going to be good. As much as we hate to say it, Sean. Yeah, they're. But if they're he's a cowboy, we also got to take a screenshot of this team. I did it before he got signed. All right, so what do I need to do? Is four running backs enough, or is that dangerous? Whoa, whoa, what? Dangerously low. Is it? All right. I talk about DJ. D oh my goodness! Someone took. Oh, that's you. All right, I'm gonna give uh, Justin Fields a little stack here. We like this guy. Uh, uh, he was on the come up last year. Calvin Austin. Oh yeah, he's fun. He will be. His ADP will get fixed eventually. He's going too late. Ryan, give me a uh, receiver that the you think has a chance, maybe to end up on uh, Chargers. You want to just take Christian McCaffrey's brother, hmm. Luke. Luke, yeah. who does he play for? Well, tune in to the NFL Draft live from Detroit, Michigan. Oh, he's a Michigan guy. No, he's Christian McCaffrey's brother. Oh no, I meant like who did he play for in college? Rice. Played for Nebraska and then transferred to Rice. It's never a good uh, angle. No, oh, Rice is a receiver school. It's true. Uh, pad his stats, maybe. I could see, I could see uh, Harbaugh taking taking a shot on Luke McCarth McCaffrey, McCaffrey's. Darius Slayton goes. Zach Ertz off the board. Can't believe he's going to be on the skins. That's that's weird. You know what? Deontay Foreman will be a guy who will be on a lot of my teams. The Browns signed him, Sean. If Chubb's not healthy, clearly they want a bruiser, and Ford isn't that guy. He's more of the big play guy. We love Deontay Foreman. Just gets yards. I'm intrigued by that one. Got my eye on that one, Sean. Browns have a very good lineup. 
I do not see what his con I was I went to go look up his contract. Two million dollars. No, that's not it. I don't think his his uh signing is on the book yet. All right. Wait, who someone just took, took Daniel Jones. Is that a joke? <laughs> Uh, oh man, too funny. Ryan, shall I reveal my team? I hope Luke McCaffrey gets drafted by the Eagles just to hear your dad have to say his name. McCaffrey's. McCaffrey's or McCafferty. You can read your team off now. Awesome. Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, Derek Carr, Saquad Barkley, Najee Harris, Nick Chubb, Tajay Spears. Roshan Johnson, Ezekiel Elliott. Receivers, AJ Brown, Devonta Smith, George Pickens, JSN, Rashid Shaheed, Demario Pop Douglas, AT Perry, Luke McCaffrey, Dallas Goddard, Isaiah Likely, Donald Parham Jr. Kyler, Matt Stafford, Justin Fields. Love that quarterback room. A lot of swag there. Kyron Williams, Jalen Warren, Zamir White, Devin Singletary, Donta Foreman, five running backs. I really like this team. Puka Nakua, Michael Pittman, T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley, Jordan Addison, Khalil Shakir, Jalen Hyatt, Traylon Burks, Calvin Austin the third, Michael Mayer, oh Davis Allen, although maybe I, I need to look into it and I should have taken Colby Parkinson, and Mike Gasecki at tight end. I, uh, tight end, little thin. Little thin at tight end. Self scouting. Do better, Ryan. Kramer. Maybe a fourth tight end. What a draft. Hop in on these uh, with us. A lot of fun. Underdogfantasy.com. Promo code SGPN. Get the 100% deposit match. Get in on the uh, player pickums. Uh, those are super fun. They got them going for college basketball. Been on a nice little run with those. And uh, yeah, tune in. Of course, stay subscribed. Smash! We got uh, two Sweet 16 episodes this week. We got our MLB preview, I'm talking a little UFL, our VEASAN show on Friday, Ryan. The content never stops. Uh, head over to sportsgivenpodcast.com. Toss us a rating review. It's very embarrassing. That nah, yeah, guy gave us a one star review. We're better than a one star. Come on. No, yeah, this is kind of messed up. He went out of his way. God, I mean, what a loser. Huge loser. You guys aren't losers. You guys are winners. Uh, and that's why you're listening to the show. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. I, I bet you some whacking in. I bet you the huge losers listening to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green. He's Ryan. Nice job, loser. Kramer, let it ride.